When I was a child growing up in San Francisco area, I used to visit the Japanese tea garden and visit the carp swimming just beneath the lily pads in a two-dimensional pond. I used to spend hours looking at them. They would swim forward, backward, left and right. Their eyes were to the side and they couldn't see me. I was in the third dimension. I was in hyperspace. They were totally unaware that there was a universe beyond their pond. And then I thought, well, what happens if I reach down and grab one of the fish, lift the fish up? Maybe that fish was a scientist. And the scientist would say, bah, humbug, science fiction. There's no world of up. Up does not exist. Well, I would grab this scientist, lift them up in the world of up, hyperspace, the third dimension. What would he see? He would see beings breathing without water, a new law of biology. Beings moving without fins, a new law of physics. And then I would put the fish back into the pond. What kind of stories would he tell? Well, today, we physicists believe, we cannot prove it yet, but we are the fish. We spend all our life in three dimensions. We go forward, backward, left, right, up, down, thinking that anything beyond our pond, anything beyond our little puny universe is science fiction. 